Yes! Back again. Woo! Woo! Glass Table Show. Back! Litness, bitch! Let's go! Let's go! Gotta get y'all up to speed. It's your boy, Mark Austin. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I know somebody out there missed me. I've been a little detained. I've been a little detained trying to handle some business. Not trying. I've actually been doing a lot of stuff off the, off the camera. So I wanted to come on, show some love, spread some knowledge, and talk my shit for a good little while. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Gratitude if you're in the room. Welcome to the palace. Your boy is back. Welcome to the palace. I know y'all miss me because everybody calls me 50 trillion times a day. And if I'm not picking up, I'm sorry. I got my son here. He's making TikToks. He's really focused on his on his social media. I got a steel tongue drum the other day. I don't know what it is. I've been really on some instrument type stuff lately. Teaching myself instruments, you know? I had to fill in the gaps because I stopped smoking. So I, I realized how much time smoking really, how much activity since I haven't been smoking for about three months now. Shout out to that. Shout out to me. Taking a much needed break from the cannabis. So, and it's been going well. But I had to fill in my time. So I bought a steel tongue drum. I bought a, I bought a keyboard. Um... I picked up a couple of more different things, you know, picked up some more activities to fill in my time. But shout out to y'all. Welcome to Conspiracy Saturdays. I want to try something a little different because, um, you know, some of us are with the shits and some of us are not. And when I say with the shits, I'm talking about we discuss things that are less known. Some people call us crazy. Some people call us conspiracists. Some people say we're into conspiracies. Some people like to fact check every fucking thing we say like we don't study our own goddamn self. But, you know, the ones that's on the earth that's still enlightened, that still carry the light, the keepers of the light, we know who we are and I salute y'all. If you're not, that's fine too. If you love what every, you know, Fox News say and you're deep in there and, you, and you're like, hey, I, you guys sound crazy to me, that's fine too. That's fine too. It really doesn't matter. Um, but if you're on earth, and, you, and, you, and what I'm saying resonates with you. You are in the chosen few. You are in the chosen few that have retained some of your genetic encoding and can understand when you're being tampered with. Shout out to you. But I wanted to get on and talk my shit for a little while. Um, I'm going to break a few things down from my frame of understanding. And I wanted to see who's going to rock with me tonight. If you're in here, drop a comment. Show me that you're in the room. I love the sound this shit make. It's like some vibrational shit. But yeah, if you're in the room, drop a comment. You know how we do Glass Table Show. Um, I'm reading all the comments. We're going to get into some crazy stuff tonight. So I hope that y'all ready. I hope y'all buckled in. Um, I hope you got your seats lined up. I hope you got your, 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 uh, your seat belts on. Because I'm going to take y'all for a little ride. If you if you, if any of this information is new to you, um, that's cool too, because you can ask questions. I'm I'm a, you know I'm here to talk. I'm here to explain as much as I know, as much as I've read. You know I I give you my book sources where I get my information from. Um, if it don't make sense to you, that's cool too. You can always log off. You're not you're not you know definitely wouldn't hold nobody here to force them to do something they don't want to do or be subjected to something they don't want to be subjected to. But this one is for the outside thinkers. This one is for the outside thinkers. This is for the ones that are a little progressive, a little out of the box with their thinking. So it might not resonate with everybody, but that's cool. That's cool. You know, everything ain't for everybody. So be that as it may, I've been on Facebook for about 10 years now. And, and I, I would say every, every year that I'm on Facebook, it gets weirder and weirder in, 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 a, in a strange way. Um, 
a lot of people that are on social media, um, I would say a lot of people in general, right? They kind of have been initiated into these toxic ideologies that our society uh, push, pushes on people. And um, a lot of people are spiritually infantile. They are, they are emotionally inept. And their growth has been hindered by a lot of this bullshit that they learn and they, they regurgitate. You know, people can't even have a, a, a clean debate no more. They don't know what they believe. Right. People, for the most part, when I'm out here, when I do my social media thing, I'm on Facebook, I make posts. I'm not going to say I'm right about everything, but I made a lot of people aware of shit just by what I posted. I didn't realize it until recently when people came and said, yo, I haven't seen your post lately. And, you know, I always get little little comments and shit, but I didn't really realize how much I done spread a lot of people boundaries and made people aware of shit. People always want to act like they knew about some shit before you came and made them aware of it. I'm not telling nobody nothing that ain't already out there. But, you know, uh, a lot of people don't read shit and they just, they're in a, a, a information bias bubble, right? So they're in this bubble of info. They get their information from certain places and they don't venture outside of those places. Their information is curated for them. And so they're only being exposed to a certain sect of information. So when you come and you expose them to more information that's outside of their bubble, they immediately reject it. Which is which is okay. That's I guess that's how it's supposed to be. But I done made a lot of people aware, turn some off, turn some on by shit that I post on my social media. I really do my social media for my son, so when I'm gone, he can look through my shit and see what I what was on my mind and use that shit kind of like a curriculum. You know what I'm saying? But um, be that as it may. Again, it's the glass table show. Before I get started, before we get deep, because we're going on a deep dive tonight. I had to get on about 1030. So this is for the late heads. If you missed it, if you missed this broadcast, you could peep the rebroadcast on this page. I'm gonna leave it up for about 24 hours. And then you could catch the the uh the rebroadcast, the repost on YouTube. I got my YouTube channel, Mark Austin is crazy. Um it's got all the episodes, all the old episodes, the glass table show there. So you could definitely go on my YouTube. Mark Austin is crazy. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. I'm making that making that move. Shout out to my man Mark Black for uh smashing on YouTube. Um shout out to my man David Maynard before we get started. The Artist Cafe down on Main Street. We gonna be doing some work real soon. I know they had a women's empowerment art show tonight. So shout out to all the women that got to showcase their art tonight at the Artist Cafe. Really snazzy spot. Really, really, really uh community oriented, a uh, real vibey, and he been doing a, and David Maynard been doing a lot of great things for the community out of that spot. Um it was much needed. He got the doors open to the community. We're gonna be working together real soon. So shout out to my man David Maynard. Um yeah so so I hope you had a good week. I hope I don't scare nobody off with this with this show. But if you are scared I mean, get a dog, catfish, whatever, make you feel better. But I got to let y'all know what's going on. So today we're going to talk. If you're with it, then you can comment. If not, you can sit back and just take a breather. So my first topic I wanted to get in today. Now, don't play this if you don't got Apple iPhones because I'm going to try not to swear. Actually, let me stop bullshit. I'm definitely going to be swearing because it's part of my communication. And I'm that's just how I communicate. Uh... I saw this about three days ago. Fox News reported that an alien mothership is hovering close to Earth. Now, Fox News, I'm going to say this again. Fox News, Fox News, Fox News, right? Which is the main mass media, main media. It's a very, uh, it's a very large media platform is Fox, right? Very large media platform. They have reported that a mother, a alien mothership is hovering close to Earth. Now, I'm going to pull this up because people think I pull shit out of my ass and and nothing nothing can fit in my ass except shit. So I didn't pull this out of my ass. I didn't pull this out of my ass. I read this on Fox News. I do talk a lot of shit about the mass media. But I do check what they say because you got to read what they say, but through your own filters, as I understand it. 
Again, I've been on this path a long time, man. I got a lot of PDFs. If anybody want to read up on some shit, I got a lot of PDFs. And you know, if you having a little bit of misunderstanding of the way shit is going, maybe we need to talk. I don't know. Everybody got the idea of what's right or wrong. I don't want to be right or wrong. I could just tell you what I've deciphered. But let me pull this up. And see what we got right here because I want everybody to kind of be on the same page. Let me see. Um, let me see right quick. Where, where, where is it? Right here. Boom. So I googled it. I googled it. Right. Google. I googled it. I googled it. I googled it. You know, people don't say the L. It's like axed. People don't say the S K. They say axed. They don't say I asked. They say I asked. But yeah, I Googled it. And this is what I came up with right here. As you can see, New York Post. Pentagon officials suggest alien mothership in our solar system four days ago. Fox News right here. Pentagon officials suggest alien mothership in our solar system. So and NBC got it. And the Daily Mail got it. And the Washington Examiner got it. So all the mainstream news sources have covered this story right okay so i want to explain this how to map how the mainstream media works a little bit because most people don't know this and i only came, became aware of this recently maybe a couple years ago i became aware of this so the mainstream media they run stories on a cycle 48 hour 72 hour cycle right they'll run the story for a few days they'll either and most of their stories further a narrative um I believe it was Barack Obama that signed into law. Uh, he he he. Uh, I, I, I forgot exactly what what uh what it was that he did, but he basically weakened the integrity in the news because he allowed them to report false stories and shit like that. I will have to pull up exactly what what thing that was, but I remember reading that somewhere. But the the ma mainstream media runs on a 24 to 48 hour cycle so this is why when you go to the news and they keep showing the same exact stories for two or three days and then they just the story disappears you're like yo what the fuck happened y'all was just reporting on that shit and now it's gone because they report the news in a cycle what they just deem the news in a cycle now what we know about the mainstream media being people that are um on this side of reality, right? Not the motherfuckers that want to spread disinformation, that want to coalesce you into this sleep bubble, that want to lull you into this zombification where most people in American society are today. Some of us actually still have our coherent thought. We're not dissident. So we're not like, oh, well, everything y'all say, we're going to believe when the exact same mainstream media reported some bullshit to you that you found out was bullshit later and you still believe in every fucking thing they say. You still believe in every fucking thing they say. I'm not saying don't believe everything they say. I'm not saying do believe what everything they say. But I'm saying most of the mainstream media, they further narratives. Most of the mainstream media further narratives. Now, maybe previous to the 70s, maybe the 70s, the 60s, you know, TV came out. I think, what was it? When did TV drop? When did television drop in general? When... Well, the military had it for a while, but when did TV come? I don't want to bullshit y'all. Come out. When did TV come out? TV came out in 1927. So, yeah, 60s is when they was heavy into it. So, first TV started rolling out and getting in people's houses maybe around the 30s, right? So, you can look this up. This is how the news works. It runs on a cycle. So they've been lying to motherfuckers since soon thereafter, right? Before that, you just had radio. Then you got television. It was a new way to bring media, which is a medium. A medium is a way that you get information. A, we, a medium is a way that you convey information. So people that are mediums, they convey information maybe from the unseen realms, right? A medium and art would be something that you use to convey the information in your mind. So when I'm, I'm an artist, so they say, yo, you, you do you use different mediums or forms of media? And a medium is something I use to convey information from my mind to the canvas, the wall, or whatever, right? So what is the media? It's a way that you convey information. So when you understand that the media, the mainstream media, Fox News, these Washington Post, and all these motherfuckers, is owned by six motherfuckers. 
six motherfuckers run the whole entire mass media. Now, we ain't going to get into all that. All I'm telling you is that the media run on a 24 to 48 to 72 hour cycle. That's all I'm telling you. Right? And they're using that to propagate narratives. Right? So let's keep going. The Pentagon official, this is Fox News, suggests alien mothership in our solar system could send many probes to Earth. New research paper in draft form comes to the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Pentagon officials said in a draft document last week the aliens could be visiting our solar system and releasing smaller probes like missions conducted by NASA when studying other planets. A draft research report authored by Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Research Office, and Abraham Loeb, chairman of Harvard University's astronomy department, was released on March 7 and focuses on the physical constraints of unidentified aerial phenomena. An artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft which releases many small probes during its close passage to Earth, an operational construct not too dissimilar from NASA missions, the report read. These dandelion seats could be separated from the parent craft by the tidal gravitational force of the sun of moving capability. Now let me get to that first sentence. It says, an artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft. It said potentially, right? So... Let me get back to this, right? This right here is really wild because um you got a lot of people. You got a lot of people, and this is a lot of people, right? That feel or in their mind think that there is alien life or that there's life outside of the life on earth. So I've got into I gotten into this on a few other shows. Now, please don't take this personal because I'm not personally attacking anyone. But what I'm telling you is that everything you know about an alien you learn from a movie. Everything you learned or know about a, a, a so-called alien, what you would consider an alien, you know from a movie. Am I right or wrong? So when did you see a fucking alien to tell me what it looked like? When did you, you, not me, you, if you think there's aliens outside, out in space, in the darkness of the sky somewhere in the firmament, where did you learn about aliens and what they do and how they're supposed to look in Area 54 and all, Area 51, all that shit? Where did you learn about that? How did you identify that? How do you have an image of that in your mind if you never saw one? Outside of what you've been shown. It ain't like no damn, you can go to a wildlife preserve and see an alien, right? And the way they tell you an alien is, they say this shit is humanoid. It got eyes and a head and arms and legs and all this dumb shit. I say dumb shit because it's some shit you've been shown. Did you ever see an Easter money? Did you ever see an Easter bunny? No, right? Did you ever see Santa Claus? No, right? So did you ever see an alien? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I no, you did. Now I'm answering for you. But people get on my shit and try to air me like I'm Air Jordan. Like I'm like like I'm just making this shit up. You saw an alien in your life before? You took a picture you could show everybody? No! You ain't seen no goddamn alien nowhere. You gotta wake the fuck up. You gotta wake the fuck up. Now you trying to tell me this shit don't line up with the movies that you saw. Because that's where you got the shit from. You done watched a bunch of alien paranormal activity movies and alien movies. And read some shit that was written by who the fuck. And now you gonna tell me what an alien looked like? You gonna tell me what Santa Claus looked like too? You gonna explain to me how... You, do you understand that if you can explain some shit that nobody never saw that you done been... You have been... You have been compromised. Your mind's been compromised. Now this is going to ruffle some feathers. And that's acceptable. But I'm letting you know that you got to wake the fuck up. You got to wake the fuck up. I, lo I love you. I might as be the one to tell you. I might as well be the one. You know motherfuckers will argue you about that shit? No, because aliens are, aliens are here. I'm sure that they're going to... 
How, where are you getting this? What show did you watch that got you fucked up like that? What show did you watch? And we're going to, I'm going to explain why. You telling me that aliens are humanoid and they're coming from outer space. I'm telling you that space is all around you. When I park my car, I put it in an empty parking what? Space. When I move my cup from the table to the chair, I put it in another space. So I wouldn't spill it, right? You're applying what you learned to shit that's out over your head instead of putting it to everywhere. Because when you go to school, they indoctrinate you off of infinitesimal amount of the knowledge that's really fucking going on in this motherfucking plane. So you get a little taste, and then you got motherfuckers out here thinking they know every fucking thing to know. And you're going to explain the unexplainable off some shit that your enemy done indoctrinated you with. And you're going to explain the unexplainable. And then when I confront you with a, radic with a thought that you never had, now you're going to get combative. Can you please open your mind and shut your mouth and stop the bullshit, please? Could you please stop? Now, listen. How many people know that the Vatican got a telescope? How many people know that the Vatican got a super strong telescope? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. What's that telescope that the Vatican built? I think it's in South America. Uh oh, gotta go to Duck Duck Go. You gotta go to Duck Duck Go because Google's a liar. Google only show you the shit that people pay to show you. So you gotta go to Duck Duck Go. Don't go to Google if you're looking for some alternative shit. Because you know they fact checkers is basically put in place so that you can't never come to the light. Once coronavirus hit, they said we don't want nobody telling reality. We don't want nobody talking about what's really going on. So we're going to employ fact checkers to basically make it where you can't say a goddamn thing outside of what we teach you. How many people know the Vatican got a telescope? How many people know this? Not many, but it's okay if you don't because I'm here to put you up on some game. I'm here to put you up on some game. The Vatican got a super strong telescope they've been using for 50, 60, 70, 80 years. And they're going to tell you some shit for you to keep following when they looking up and realizing that you is just, you is basically the play, you the stars, you the stars in the sky, but in motion. The Vatican Observatory, VAT, University of Arizona, University of Arizona got a super powerful telescope the Vatican do on top of some type of bluff or mountain or something like that, right? Yeah, so long story short, what I'm getting at is that aliens or, or other forms of life have been here. They've been here. They've been here. Maybe this is too far above your high, above the way you think because your mind only can see shit in terms of good, evil, God, and the devil. But I'm letting you know that there's different levels to this reality. There's different levels to this reality. This reality is not governed just by what you see. There's realms to the unseen. Right? So there are things that exist. There's entities that exist on different frequencies. And what is your mind? Your mind is different frequencies. Your thoughts come in on different frequencies. Your thoughts come in on different frequencies. So what I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to show y'all something. Let me show y'all one more thing real quick. I got a few things to show y'all. But this is specifically what I want to show y'all. Let me see this right quick. Let me pull this up. Um, Let me see if I can pull this up for y'all. Um, let me see if I can pull this up for y'all. Hold on. There it goes. I got it right there. All right, boom. So, where is it? Is it there? There you go. Boom. So, I had sent this. I had posted this, right? People inboxed me and said, what is that all about? You know, you got some that, that, that's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And that's understandable. Like I said, you you thinking this this thing, this quote unquote alien, is in the form of a humanoid with eyes and ears and 
noses and all this type of shit because you don't understand that there's realms to reality and there's realms to the unseen. So why do you think everything has to breathe and see? Why do you think everything needs eyes and feet and legs? Why do you think everything moves in some type of aircraft? That's some indoctrination shit. That's some shit you saw in a motherfucking movie. And you're going to come tell everybody them is aliens. Motherfucker, how... An alien is anything foreign. So let's see. It says, a cluster of negative thought forms is known as a psych nest. Aliens exist in ideas. They can travel through language, which is another vibratory signature. Do you understand? Some negative thought forms that you currently have may be a parasitic form of interdimensional life. Many major television stations transfer these beings by encoded programs with specific frequencies through which the aliens can travel. Now, why is this so far-fetched for some of y'all to grasp? Why is this so far-fetched? So you mean to tell me that when you watch certain shit, you don't think like certain shit that you shouldn't be doing? So you mean to tell me everything you watch affects you the same? You mean to tell me that everything you watch with your eyes affects you the same? Don't you see... Don't you see celebrities always covering their eyes? You never see celebrities cover their eye and they say that's the Illuminati. Do you really understand what it means to be punched in the eye? This is what they're talking about. This is what they're talking about. This is why they cover their eye up like that. This is why they have such a big thing with the eyes. Because your eyes are crystals. You know when you die, your blood... Your, your, you know when you die... Your blood turns into crystals. It turns into quartz crystals. Did you know that? Your eye is your crystal. Did you know your eyes are crystals? The way you're there, they're prisms. They're the way that you get the light information. Did you know that? You can look all this up. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. All I'm telling you is that this dimension is one, and there's other dimensions, and there's interdimensional beings that don't adhere to none of this shit on this realm. They don't breathe no air. They don't drink no water, right? They don't do none of the shit that we do, but they exist in thought and idea and in word. Because word is a vibration. Thought is a vibration. Why do you feel like it's not something that can, that can move through those vibrations? An interdimensional being that can move through those vibrations. Why is it now that so many people are doing all this stupid shit? Aside from their genetics being poisoned, why are these motherfuckers having trouble controlling their thoughts? You don't think your thoughts are being tampered with? You don't see the tide? You don't see motherfuckers in the way that they moving? Maybe you too little, maybe you too young. Maybe you ain't been alive long enough. To see that motherfuckers done lost their fucking mind out here. Maybe you haven't been around long enough. Maybe you haven't been paying attention. Maybe you one of the motherfuckers that done lost your fucking mind. Yeah? You don't understand you could be compromised by your thoughts? So psychology is not a thing? You don't study that shit in school? They don't pay people thousands of dollars to do that as a career? The understanding of the mind? And you think Carl Jung made that shit up? You think Carl Jung was the first motherfucker that ever tried to break somebody's mind down? Come on. Come on, man. You gotta get with me, man. You gotta get with me, man. Let's, 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 let's keep it moving. Essentially, they telling you that there's an alien mothership now all this time. All this time, since the, all this time that they done had television and phones and information and all this shit, all this time that they've been running all these stories in Area 51 and they're making movies and saying this is what aliens look like, the, uh, this is what aliens do, uh, do, is there evidence of extraterrestrial life, and they asking you these questions, they got you pondering all this bullshit, and they never want to own up to nothing, and now all of a sudden, in the last... Three months, you done seen like 200 different fucking alien uh, spaceship sightings and CNN and all these major news organizations and outlets are running the stories talking about there's an alien mothership above Earth. Now, all of a sudden, it don't seem funny to y'all. It don't seem kind of weird and like, what the fuck to y'all? It don't, if that seems right. 
Maybe you would say, oh, well, they're finally admitting to it. Maybe you would say some shit like that. But I would not say that. I actually have another theory for you that I would like to introduce to you that came around maybe in the 90s. And I spoke about this a couple shows back. I don't know if y'all are aware of Project Bluebeam. Are y'all aware of Project Bluebeam? Do you understand there's levels to the government like there's levels to reality? You at the bottom, you ponder a different shit. I would have never said I got all the answers. I'm just saying I'm a regular working class motherfucker. I'm not, I'm not in the Bilderberg group. I'm not in the Trilateral Commission. I'm not a Freemason. I'm not in the Illuminati. I'm not in the sorority. I'm not in the fraternity. So I don't have no allegiance to these people. I don't have the clearance. I'm not high ranking in the military. I'm telling you what my internal governing body has, uh, has me, awoken me to. Questions I have that I went for answers to. This is not like, oh, I go somewhere and somebody just fills me up with this shit. I wake up and I think about shit they say and I have questions. Natural questions that arise from when someone says something. You know, Project Bluebeam, right? Y'all can check this out on DuckDuckGo. Project Bluebeam is some shit that they popped up with in the 90s. Now, all the shit that the CIA, what is it, the, uh, Central Intelligence Agency, you got Central Security, you got FBI, which are lower. They don't deal with none of the par none of the, the dark matter shit. But you got FBI, you got DOJ, Department of Justice, you got DOD, Department of Defense. You got all of these little, basically, companies that spread shit and do shit amongst themselves that you're not privy to, right? So Project Bluebeam is when they say, yo, check this out if you think I'm bullshitting. They say, we gonna create a new religion... Or expound on a religion that we got in order to control more of the people. They're going to use some type of light technology to either create what well, they originally said they was going to make an image of a of a, a shining image come out of the sky. Whether it was going to be a, a UFO or some type of thing like Jesus Christ. They were they, they initially said they were going to bring a, a Messiah, some type of like some type of like image that was going to light up the entire sky. Or like 70% of the sky. So imagine like if you're in South America and I'm in Massachusetts and we both see the light in the sky. Wouldn't that fuck with a lot of humanity? Because a lot of humanity that's in North America or in the Americas in general that's on habitable land, hospitable land, you know, Italy, Greece, Africa, South America, Asia. How many religious people is it on the continents? How many religions do you have? What are the main three religions and what are their numbers? And even if you're not a practicing religious person, you hold, you hold religious beliefs. Right? So I'm not going to say that's a parasitic thought form, but I'm going to say that's one version, right? But all of these people that will see this shit are going to liken it to something. They're going to say, oh, it's either UFOs coming or it's Jesus Christ coming or it's the Messiah coming. Right. If, if, if me, if I'm here in Massachusetts and a motherfucking Africa see a light shine in the sky and I see a light shine in the sky and a motherfucking Asian Hawaii see a light shine in the sky. Wouldn't it affect a lot of people? Wouldn't motherfuckers quicken to whatever they believe was coming or was to be or whatever belief they held? So this is something that Project Bluebeam is about. I'm going to read a little bit about it because I don't want to go too deep into it. But Project Bluebeam been around since the 90s, right? Let me get into this right quick for y'all because I told y'all it's a deep dive. I got about another 40 minutes. So we're going we gonna, to we gonna keep it moving. But if you want more information in on this, just check out Project Bluebeam. It was first brought to light by your man Serge Manast. He's a Frenchman. He actually had, you know, I don't think he died behind this, but he put out a lot of information based off this, um, and he was letting motherfuckers know that this is some shit that might be coming, right? So it's basically where they're saying that it's going to be an invasion. They're going to light up the skies with different things that people have that they've already entrenched into your belief. So you know how long they've been doing alien movies? You know how long they've been talking about this alien shit? Para, uh, uh, 
outside life invading Earth. You know how long that's been? So you know how, how many people, these things are entrenched into their psyche? When you entrench something in someone's psyche, you have lodged it into their subconscious mind. It's difficult for them to get away from it because you basically infected them. You infected them with something. It's almost like telling your grandma that there ain't no Jesus Christ. That's something that's entrenched in her psyche. How would she not believe in Jesus Christ? How would she not do that? She's attributed everything in her life to this thing. How would she not? How would she even theorize that there is no Jesus Christ? But then you talk to a Jewish man and they don't believe in heaven or hell. It's not entrenched in their psyche. So the way they maneuver is a bit different. Do you understand what I'm saying? When I say entrenched in your psyche, that means it's lodged in your subconscious. 80% of your mind, you know they say you only use 20% of your mind. And that's due to the fact that most people only use 20% of their mind because they're only reacting off their conscious mind. And most people cannot get deep enough in their mind to affect the other 80%, which is your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is the 80% of your mind that most people do not use. You're not using it, but it's being used against you. So everything you put in your mind has an effect on you. If you watch a motherfucker get shot in the video game and it looks realistic, do you know there's no difference in your subconscious mind from watching a real person get shot? It weighs on your subconscious the same exact way. So when you tell me video games and violent shit don't have no effect, maybe not anymore because you have, you have become one with it. But I'm telling you it does affect your subconscious mind, which affects your conscious mind. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. And that's why the religions, the world religions... The main three world religions, Islam, Judaism, and Roman Catholic, Roman Catholicism, have such a stronghold. These things are lodged in the psyche. So it's like a button. Anything I need to present to you, I can present it under that context and you will always wait. Do you understand what I'm saying? For those that's here, maybe, maybe not. We're going to keep going. Project Bluebeam is some shit that shit is supposed to come out the sky. And they first was talking about using it because they, they, they have a lot of light technologies now. When I say they, I'm talking about all of these different alphabet factions that we just discussed. CIA, DOJ, DOD, high-ranking military, right? All of these different factions, right? They got access to this light technology where they could cloak things now. They can make holograms now. They can register thoughts now. They can measure thoughts now. They can read thoughts now. You never went on your phone and you think about something and you scroll and then you see the shit you thought about? That never happened to nobody on here? You ain't wonder why that happened? You, It might not happen to you yet. You have a thought in your mind. You go on your phone, you start scrolling, and then you see the shit you thought about and you don't think that shit is, is awfully? I'm telling you, as I told y'all two years ago, that the instrumentation is going to get more and more sensitive to the point where they will be able to register your thoughts. They will literally be able to read your mind through these devices. Read your mind. You think that it's not real. You still over here talking about somebody coming out the sky. And I'm telling you these motherfuckers done already compromised all of that and gave you this as the bait like a little mouse. So you could chew on that cheese while they over here doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Let's continue. Let's continue. Study up on Project Bluebeam. Get you some knowledge about Project Bluebeam. I'll give you another one. Get you some knowledge on Project Zypher and Project Pogo. Do a little information. Do the knowledge on Project Zypher. Do the knowledge on Project Pogo. Do the knowledge on Project Bluebeam. You need to study these shit. Just look them over. You don't gotta. You don't gotta believe nothing. I don't. What you know? I'm not telling you to believe nothing. I'm just telling you if you never read it, how you arguing with me? Why are you in my face? 
I read this shit already. This is 98 they was talking about this shit. And a lot of the shit that people that think for themselves been saying, a lot of people that don't think for themselves just now coming around to. You know how many people I be seeing posting shit that I was talking about five and seven and nine years ago? And now they all of a sudden, but they was at war with me when I said it. But now finally they done revealed itself to you. Now you done came around to realizing that all of that shit, most of that shit is, it's, it's been real. It's been a thing. It's not just like it's going to pop out. It's, either, it's when you come to it, you realize the shit been going on. And then you can only rectify with how how scared you is. If you're scared, you can't get into it. Like I said, you got to get a dog and a fish and a gerbil and a hamster and shit. So I'm not mad at nobody that can't dig into it and can't dig deep. I'm not upset with you. Because you can only go into the darkness as far as you rectify the darkness within yourself. That's a mouthful. But you can only get into that dark shit, that dark matter shit, and more of what you are with how much you rectify with that darkness within. My skin is brown. I run around the town. You see what I'm saying? So I had to rectify with the darkness. I'm dark skinned. So, well, I had to rectify with that shit. But everybody ain't like that. So I'm not getting on nobody. I'm just telling you, ain't no little green man coming out in no fucking spaceship above the earth. Brother, sister, you watching M. Night Shyamalan too much. You watching them crazy ass movies before you go to sleep. And now you waking up saying some dumb shit. Ain't no motherfucker coming around here with no goddamn head and no eyes and no arms. That motherfucker been here in the form of your thoughts since you grew arms and legs and eyes. Don't you understand what I'm telling you? That there's parasitic thought forms that cause you to feed on each other? That don't make no sense to you? That don't make no sense to you. So there ain't no forms of thought that poison other motherfuckers that make them turn and behave differently and do different shit and eat different food and want to cannibalize each other. There ain't no thought forms that do that. There ain't no thought forms that do that. Everybody in their right mind and everybody is getting more and more sane. Is that what you're telling me? Cut the fucking shit. Cut the shit. Get your mind right, y'all. Listen, let's keep it pushing. Done with the alien shit. What was the mud flood? And what was Tartaria? So I talked about Tartaria previously. Um, I have been saying this shit for, I don't even know, five, ten years already. Um, you know, periodically on Earth, the, the, the plane that's known as Earth, they go, it goes through, uh, it goes through trends, right? Right now we're in a warming trend. They're going to tell you it's global warming. They tell you the carbon levels in the Earth is too high. The Earth is heating up because of global warming. Soon they're going to be charging a carbon tax. You're going to go to buy your car and they're going to have a carbon tax on that bitch. A five to seven thousand more dollars. Based off the fact they say this car pollutes more than this car and puts more greenhouse emissions into that air but into this car. When what I'm telling you is all you gotta do is look back. Go go look at the ice that they what happened, buddy, you good? Go look at the ice that they done took out of Antarctica. Digging down seven, nine, and ten miles. Go look at the ice and tell me. These people listen. You got to read. You got to really experience. You got to really bring your mind up to a, a point where you can really think for yourself. They know this. They're not going to tell you this. They're going to further the narrative with what they're telling you because it's different interests at work that need your mind to work in a certain way so they can capitalize off you. So they can capitalize off you. So they can capitalize off you. You feel like everybody your fucking friend. Stop being so friendly with these motherfuckers trying to fuck your mind up. You know that I've been in Antarctica and in, and in South America, I mean, North Pole, South Pole, all this shit, digging into the ice for years, doing all them experiments. They'll tell you that there's been warming and cooling trends. They say that shit. Yes, they, the, the globe, the earth done went through cooling trends and the earth done went through warming trends. Right now, you in a warming trend. All that carbon greenhouse emission shit is bullshit. They're going to be charging you just for breathing air soon. They're going to charge you just to breathe air soon. They're going to say, oh, you release carbon. You release greenhouse emissions. We got to charge you for being here. Don't you understand? 
Niggas ain't gonna get it. We got us a we got us a comment. My man Raj. My man Corey. Shout out to my brother in arms. Good to see you, good brother. Good to see you. Good to see you on the broadcast. Shout out to you. Another forward thinker. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. Soon they're going to be charging you just to buy a car. They're going to say this car puts out this much greenhouse emissions. We got to charge you this much extra. You know what I'm saying? My brother Corey said, that's that social credit score. Yes. Introduced in Asia already. Because you know they they, they, they uh, gerbil the shit with the Chinese. Um, You know they got the Chinese a gerbil. You can't do no movie if... Asia not with it. If China don't like your movie, your movie don't come out. They don't bankroll your shit. All the Hollywood and Asia pocket. China pocket specifically. Knowing you owe these niggas all these trillions of dollars. Knowing we owe these niggas all these trillions of dollars. Most of all uptown in New York is all owned by Asians. Let's cut this shit, man. These people, I, I love them, but I, we, we got to really, we got to get, we got to come to terms. Bro, say, you know I'm going to spread love. Yo, and that's a fact, bro. Likewise, and it's reciprocated, my guy. Likewise, and it's reciprocated. You know we don't really get no love dropping these gems, man. But we got to do it because we was chosen. We was chosen to do it. You know what? The ridicule, they this, they that. We stay away. We can, We got our bubble. We do research in our bubble. And we like, well, damn. This shit was real? You know how many times some shit will occur to me and I'll go do research and I'll come to a path and I always keep an open mind. I say, you know what? Even though you done found it and you done proved it to yourself seven ways from Sunday, you done seen it and proved it six different ways, I'm going to still hold in reserve judgment till, till it starts to manifest. And then it starts manifesting. Then I, I, I made the mistake. I used to say, yo, I done realize this shit. Let me tell somebody. Because I'm a six. I'm a teacher. My life path, right? So I want to teach so I go break it down. And people be like, What? What are you talking about? They reject it because it does not on the frequency that they vibrating at. They not vibrating on the frequency. You know how you try to go talk to somebody now and you say some shit to them and they're like, huh? What'd you say? And you said this shit clear as day. You said it clear as day in as few words as possible and motherfuckers still don't know what the fuck you said because they vibrating so low. They can't hear a word you fucking saying. That shit is not by accident. That shit is not by accident. We know this. We know this. We know they're giving them chemicals and the food and the water and all that shit. But that ain't really the thing, right? I'm going to continue. Shout out to my man Chris. DJ Stress in the fucking building. Shout out to the producer's corner. The most consistent. The most consistent DJ and producer that I know. DJ Stress. Y'all go check him out. Go to his page. He got the producer's corner. It's been popping. International producers getting down together. Numbers been growing. He's been at it for years and years. I think, what, 10 years now? Shout out to you, DJ Stress. I love your fucking consistency. Shout out to you, brother. So, yeah. If you're here, you can handle it. If not, you know, you might have to peel. But I do understand. So, let's get into that, right? We got warming and cooling trends. That's where I was at. Right now, you're going through a warming trend. Now, you... Now... I'm not talking about the Bible. Please don't misconstrue me. I'm not talking about the Bible. I'm not talking about Roman Catholic Christianity. I'm not talking about Judaism. I'm not talking about Islam. I'm talking about just straight facts for your for your for whatever color your ass is. If your ass is red, it's a fact for you. If your ass is brown, it's a fact for you. If your ass is pink, it's a fact for you. Do you understand what I'm telling you? There was there was there's always been cataclysms on earth. First of all, there was 11 high civilizations on earth. 11. Not just Greece. Not just Rome. Not just United States. Or whatever the fuck you feel like there's the high society. There was 11 of them bitches. There was 11 of them bitches. Everything must rise and everything must fall. Right? So there's been cataclysms on earth. And the last great cataclysm that we had on earth was a mud flood. The mud flood destroyed the previous civilization that was here. So you do know that here, in what is known as America, again, America is not the United States. America existed previous to the United States. People interchange those words a lot. 
and they say America and the United States. America is not the United States. What is the United States? My son noticed he's 13. What's the United States? A corporation. The United States of America. Of denotes a corporation. The United States is a corporation. America is not the United States of America. Otherwise, they would have left it named America. Do you understand what I'm saying? They would have left it the America. Why did they rename it the United States of America? That's when they incorporated. Okay, so America would be the copper toned inhabitants of this landmass before they incorporated into the United States of America. Oh, yes, I know I'm breaking somebody crystal fucking glass on their table right now. I know somebody is in this shit. They're not watching. They're not watching because they're off doing some more stupid shit. But if you is here, please don't get your feathers ruffled. I'm only speaking for you to go do research. Don't believe me. I'm not a preacher. I don't want your unyielding loyalty to what I'm saying. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not a preacher. I'm not deceiving you. I'm not using you to fill up my collection plate. There ain't no link to no cash app on this shit. I'm breaking you down off this shit because this is what I got put on this plane to do. I'm not asking you for no money. I just want you to be aware. So again, America is the copper-toned inhabitants of the landmass previous to its incorporation into the United States of America. And previous to it being America, there was Tartaria here on this landmass. Tartaria was a great civilization. Tartaria was right here. It wasn't in a different place. Tartaria was here. Tartaria was in South America. Tartaria was in Australia. Tartaria was in Asia. Tartaria was a great civilization throughout the plain. Now this information is coming to light more and more. But it's been hidden. It's been shoveled. It's been destroyed. It's been misconstrued. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't know what the fuck you're talking about when you say Tartaria. You say Tartaria was here where America or United States is. There was another civilization known as Tartaria. People was like, what are you talking about? What's Tartaria? Because all they know is what they learned in school. And then they go to uh, supposed higher education. I'm not knocking college. I'm just saying you spent $50,000 and they gave you a piece of paper at the end. You spent $80,000, they gave you a piece of paper at the end. Right? Because if they didn't give you the piece of paper after you spent that bread, you would have felt it was a waste. So to assuage your ego, you went and spent all this money and took these loans out, and then you walked across the stage at the end of four years, and they gave you a piece of fucking paper. Because your ego needed to be assuaged. But what I'm telling you is that all the schools don't have no walls. All the schools don't have no walls, brothers and sisters. This school that we're talking about is inside of you. This school I'm talking about is inside you. This school is not in no one place where you, I'm going to go to the, 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 the college of, of, of interdisciplinary metaphysical stuff. No, 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 no. If you're drawn to this, you're drawn to this. You deciphered this, you was born, and you was built to do this shit, is what I'm telling you. Because a lot of this shit is hidden, and you got to have an inkling in your own self to even realize the question. When's ever somebody tell you not to ask no questions, do you know what they doing to you? You think that's your friend? That he disrespected you when you asked a question? That motherfucker's trying to control you. Why are you asking about that? They got to be an idiot to ask that question. Who the fuck is you to tell me what question I can ask? Who in the fuck is you to tell me what fucking question I can ask? You ain't nobody to be telling nobody what questions to ask as a human being on the earth. Because you ain't got the answer, now you pissed off? Listen, Tartaria been here. If you need proof and you think I'm bullshitting you, if you think I'm bullshitting you, then you go look up the world, the first world's fair. Anybody that peeped this shit on the rebroadcast and they think I'm bullshitting 
and they think I'm just making some shit up and I'm pulling some shit off of TikTok and I'm pulling some shit off my ass and I'm pulling some shit off social media. You know, I was born before it was social media. Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all them shits came after I was born. I had a house phone. Don't put me in a category with these niggas that do this, all this research on here. It's not to say it's not no good shit online, but don't put me in a category of niggas that don't read. I'm very literate. I do outside research. I spend money for books. I seek out books. Right? So I've been like this since I was six in the church and I was reading the Bible in the end. And I got to the glossary. And I got to the, the appendix. And I started asking questions. And they said, well, damn, we didn't read that part. This is what we interpreted this. I said, yeah, but the definition said this and it's in the same book. Why it's not adding up? Okay, so what I'm telling y'all is go look up the first World's Fair. Let me tell you when it was. Because I don't got the numbers off the top of my head. When was the first World's Fair? The first World's Fair was in 1939. No, 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 no. Hold on. I got it wrong. I think it was 1869. Hold on, hold on. Chicago. The Chicago World Fair. It was 1893. My bad. So in 1893 was the Chicago World Chicago Fair. And October 9th, 1893 was the first World's Fair. Now, all you got to do is go look at pictures of the Chicago World Fair of 1893. Look at all of the ornate setting where they had this fair. It had a canal system. It had these 200-foot statues. The buildings were ridiculously large. The next show I do, I'm going to talk about Tartaria for an hour. For a straight fucking hour, I'm about to... Crush motherfuckers that think that it was niggas in huts in this bitch. Previous to United States of America, you think it's niggas in huts fucking smoking meat? Are you out of your mind? Let me go to the comments, man. I'm screaming my head off. I'm screaming my head off. My man Corey said a corporation. Yes. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Somebody is on the wavelength. Let's go. My brother, Corey, let's go. It's becoming a cover. Yes, coming to the light. Coming to the light. Yup, Louisiana Purchase. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. American, true American. So the World Spirit, right? They had, they, they had the, uh, they said they had two months to set this up. And they said they used a lot of wood and cardboard. I want you to go look at the pictures of the 1893 World's Fair and tell me. Because all of that shit is Tartarian. You know, in Tartaria, we had different forms of technology. We had free energy. Free energy is known. This is why Tesla and William Reich and all these people, their information got shuttled. Do you know what? Do you even know? See, I'm, I'm getting beside myself. Do y'all know what electroculture is? First of all, are y'all aware of the ether? The ether field? The energy between the molecules? The free energy that's in the air around you. There's ambient energy in the air around you. This is what Tesla was using man, and playing with. This is what William Reich, his right-hand man, was playing with. All that information got shuttled. All that information got did away with. Because they had to switch you over to a type of energy that they could make money off. That they could profit off. And that could keep you down. Keep you in this box. This is why they started making rubber-soled shoes. They started making rubber-soled shoes so you wouldn't ground to the ground. Do you know that rubber-soled shoes was the the greatest invention that fucked motherfuckers up? It was big. It was it fucked motherfuckers. Up. It fucked humans up bigger than TV. Rubber-soled shoes fuck humans up more than TV did. Because when you're grounded to the ground, you're connected to a source of infinite energy. Electroculture is when you take copper or a really highly conductive uh, metal and you wrap it around wood or you wrap it into a coil, right? And you put it high in the air. And whenever there's activity 
in the clouds and in the cloud cover, those ions, that ether energy, will collect to that coil and send it into the dirt. Magnetism is what we're talking about, which will give you 40% yields. You ever see people with them huge cabbages and them huge squashes, and they like as big as a whole body? The pumpkins that's as big as a car? You ever wonder how they grow that stuff? They're not growing that stuff with no damn uh, pesticides. They're using the free energy that's everywhere. In Tartaria, let me tell you something. It was just like in Kemet. If you don't know what Kemet is, Kemet is pre-Egypt. Pre-dynastic Egypt will be Kemet, right? So in Tartaria, if you Tartaria will be everything old that was here in America when it turned to the United States. You got these old-ass houses. And they're very ornately decorated. And you will have fireplaces. But the fireplaces wasn't used to burn no fire. The fireplace wasn't used to burn no wood. The fireplace will be clean. And they will put something in there that will pull the energy from the air and heat up the entire house. The mud flood came, covered everything with feet of mud. This is why now when you go to these cities, all you got to do is look up on your, on your Google or go on DuckDuckGo and look this up. If you dig, if you dig 20 feet down in any major city, you're going to find a whole nother city covered by mud. The reality is right under our feet. Go anywhere in fucking Springfield, Massachusetts. Go anywhere in Hartford and dig 20 feet down next to one of these buildings and you're going to find a whole nother fucking building. A whole nother building. A whole nother city existed in that spot. A whole nother city. Go look up the great San Francisco earthquake and fire. And look at the people walking around and tell me if them hiding people is dressed and tell me if them people was refugees or people the house got fucked up. These people was well dressed. These people was well dressed. Go look it up. Go look up the great San Francisco earthquake and fire and look at them people walking around that got those those pictures. Them people is not refugees. Them people is not survivors. Them is the people that came to take over after the cataclysm. The controllers. Like I said, the Chicago World's Fair, 1893. You know what got introduced in 1893 at the Chicago World's Fair? Heinz Ketchup. What do you still eat to this day? Heinz Ketchup. Ice cream. Shit that you still use because in 1893 at the World's, Chicago World's Fair is when they was instituting what you was going to be dealing with for the next civilization to come. They were doing away with Tartaria. World War I. You know why they had all these damn bells? Listen. You ever go somewhere like Philadelphia or one of these old ass cities and you see these buildings with these tall ass spires at the top and they tell you that shit is a lightning rod and it looked like it's supposed to be a bell house. It looked like got a spire on it. Look at one of them tall ass old skyscrapers. They destroy most of them in New York now. But look at, look at them buildings with them old skyscrapers and they got a tall spire at the top and they got a little thing that looked like a bell should be there but there's no bell you know what that was you know what that was that was a mooring station a mooring station is how we used to move around the earth before there was airplanes we would use air machines we wouldn't use airplanes like a zeppelin only one you know about is the Zeppelin. You know the Zeppelin, if you ever heard the story, they had a huge hot air balloon. That's what an airship is. An airship is a huge hot air balloon. That's how everybody would move around. The 20s, the 10s, the 18s, the 1800s, the 1790s, they would use airships. An airship could seat 300 people comfortably. It moved very efficiently. It didn't use a third of the energy that airplanes do. And they would dock at the top of these buildings called a mooring station. If you think I'm bullshitting, just go pull it up. Go pull it up. Make me a fool, please. Please do. Please do make me a fool. Go pull it up, I'm telling you. That's why all them old pictures from the 1800s, this the sky is whited out. You can't see no plane. You can't see no clouds. You can't see the sun. It's overexposed. All the pictures from the 1800s is overexposed. Niggas don't want you knowing you was traveling to airships. And then World War One, they got rid of all the bells because the bells gave off a vibration that would keep the the, the frequency of, of the people in the right mind. 
So they destroy all the bells and say they needed the metal for the war effort. If you think I'm bullshitting, you need to do some research. If go ahead, buddy. Yeah, you got it. All you gotta do is do some research. I'm telling you, I know this shit breaking minds. Like, yo, what are you talking about? How how are you? What what you mean? Like, what are you talking about? What like what? Listen, Tartaria is a real thing. It was a real place. It was here. There was a great mud flood. There was a cataclysm. It covered up all a lot of that shit. A lot of that shit got covered up. That's why everywhere they dig, they find the hidden tunnels. Everywhere they dig, they find hidden tunnels. Shout out to my brother, Corey. Round the pads on the Amazon. That's a fact. That's a fact. Free energy is a real live thing. They're not going to tell you. Like I said, they got rid of That's why they That's why they, they shelved all the Reichs and, and, and fucking... Uh, even the... Even the, even the the, the electroculture I'm telling you about the plants, that's just not coming back around. A lot of this stuff is not in English. It was in other languages and it hasn't been transcribed to English yet. But a lot of this shit coming back. You see what I'm saying? But Tartaria was a real thing. Free energy is a real thing. These are things that have been going on. They've just been kept from society. So I'm, I'm going to keep it pushing because I'm done with Tartaria now. I'm done with that. I, I'm, I might come back and just do a whole show just on Tartaria to show people because people will be thinking it's like some crazy shit. But my last topic of the night... I got about 20 minutes. My last topic of the night is this. this now, I know this going this going to piss them off. But I'm not trying to piss nobody off. But I want to talk to you about a couple things real quick. Um, Not to go too deep into it. But you know you're dealing with a lot of shit, right? It is an unholy trinity that most people worship that they don't have no idea that this is what they're worshiping. I remember I came into some knowledge, right? When I understood... You know, I don't know if you haven't seen a movie, The Ten Commandments. And they, they, you know, in the Old Testament, New Testament of the Bible, they was basically saying that they rubbed blood on the doorways to protect the firstborn child because they said the Pharaoh was coming. And, you know, you got a lot of different stories in the Bible. A lot of them are anthropomorphical, which means that they represent things that are really happening. A lot of them have to do with your body, right? But a lot of people take those stories literally. What I'm telling you is that I always known there was a connection between the gods in the Bible, the God in the Bible, and um, sacrifice, right? I believe it was Moses that sacrificed his son, right? Was it Moses? Let's go look, cause I don't, I don't got nobody that's a Bible thumper in here. So let me, let me, let me, let me get this right though, cause I gotta say, uh, oh no, that was Abraham. It wasn't Moses. It was Abraham sacrificed his son, right? Did Abraham sacrifice his son? No, not Abraham Lincoln. Abraham from the Bible. Was Abraham the sacrifice his son? Abraham, kill your son. Yeah. Abraham, kill your son. After these things, God decided to test Abraham's faith. God said to him, Abraham, and he said, yes. Then God said, take your son to the land of Mora and kill your son there as a sacrifice for me. Okay, so I knew that there was a connection with all of the, with the God of the Bible and sacrifice and blood rituals and, um, you know, I, I just knew that. I knew that it, cannibalism, when you, when you go into the Catholic Church, they give you the little wafers and they say this is the flesh of Jesus, right? And the wine is supposed to be symbolic of the blood of Jesus. And they have you drink the wine and eat the flesh. Drink the blood and eat the flesh. When you go to Mass, anybody Catholic in here? Right. So, in the Bible says Abraham killed his son because God said go sacrifice his son. Now, you know the God in the Bible is not the God that brown people worship or have anything to do with. The God in the Bible is another God. That's a God. That's not the real universal intelligence of all because that thing would never need to be worshipped that thing would only need to be made offerings to that thing would only be needed to be revered my mother would never say get on your knees and worship me my mother would never say unless she's a total narcissist get on your knees and worship me no i knew that from little i said this don't make no damn sense something is going on here why would I, what, where, where, of course you get indoctrinated, and of course you're in church for what, damn near half the time more than you sleep, because I went to a very, 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 I'm, I'm from a very religious family, 
So the indoctrination was very strong with me. And we, we was in church more hours sometimes in a week than we was at home. So for me to question this at that time frame was very detrimental for my health. But I knew in my mind that young that something was not right with this. Something is going on. My questions could find no answers. None. At the time. What I'm telling you is that. The God in the Bible comes from another. Let me get to these comments. Hold on. My man F, he said, I think it says God stopped him right before he did though. Now I, I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm going to pull a verse up. Let me pull the verse up because I got it right here. I got it right here with Genesis 22, 1 and 19. It said, Abraham, kill your son. After these things, God decided to test Abraham's faith. God said to Abraham, he said, yes. Then God said, take your son to the land of Morah and kill your son as a sacrifice for me. This must be Isaac, your only son and one you love. Use him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains there. I will tell you which mountain. In the morning, Abraham got up out of his dog. He took Isaac to the with him. He cut wood for the sacrifice. Then they went to the place where God told him to go. After he traveled three days, Abraham looked up in the distance. He saw the place where they were going. Then he said to his servants, stay there with the donkey. The boy and I will go to the place and worship. Then he will come to you later. Abraham took wood for the sacrifice and put it on his son's shoulder. Abraham took the special knife and fire. Then both he and his son went together to the place of worship. I said to his father, Abraham, father, Abraham answered his son. I said, I see the wood and the fire, but where is the lamb we will burn the sacrifice? Abraham answered, God is providing the lamb for the sacrifice, my son. So both Abraham and his son went together to that place. When they came to the place of God on the go, Abraham built an altar. He carefully laid the wood in the altar. Now, this is the part where I'm saying, I'm going to finish the verse, but this is the part. Do you hear what he's saying? Offer sacrifice and altar and then when i come and say i use the altar to revere my ancestors and the christian people say that or, or religious people say that i'm a devil worshiper or I, I'm, I'm digging into some shit i don't need to dig into but in your bible it's talking about how these people did this shit and you don't and it's, it's the cognitive dissonance that's in there that won't let them realize what i'm saying so i'm gonna finish the verse though let's finish let's finish let's finish so both Abraham and his son went together to that place. When they came to the place where God told them to go, Abraham built an altar. Oh, hold on. Um. But the angel of the Lord stopped him. The angel called in heaven and said, Abraham, 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 answered yes. The angel said, don't kill your son or hurt him anyway. Now I can see that you do respect and obey God. I see that you are ready to kill your son, your only son for me. The Abraham noticed a ram whose horns were caught in the bush. So Abraham went and took the ram. He offered it instead of his son as a sacrifice to God. So Abraham gave that place a name. The Lord provides even... Even today, people say on the law of the Lord, he will get so many. Yes. So Ab was right. He said he didn't kill it, but they offered up the goat. Now, there's there's a there's a there's a there's a correlation here. There's a correlation here. What I'm telling you is that the God in the Bible that most people worship is not the God that you think. And I said this previous and people say, I don't know what you mean. In that society that you was dealing with, you wasn't dealing with your regular society. They were abhorring you. They were saying the Pharaoh don't is the devil worshiper. When in reality, the brown people was the Pharaohs. Pharaoh is not something or nothing more than a king. There ain't no word for Pharaoh in, in Kemet. Pharaoh is a new word. Pharaoh means king. But again, in the Bible, those stories, they're talking to a select group of people that don't include brown people. So this is why now the correlation is that they're not worshiping no God. That they said it should worship. And I knew this from a long time ago. What they're actually worshiping is something called Moloch. Moloch is what they're worshiping. Now, Moloch is a god that devours children. Right? Now, I know this sounds crazy. I know this sounds so wild and so crazy that it, it, it's, it's almost to the point where it's like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Moloch is... What a lot of these organizations worship and sacrifice to. So the reason that you have, you know now in the world, you have a lot of child trafficking. You have a lot of kidnapped children. You have a lot of children that are being sold into sex slavery. You have a lot of child trafficking in the world. You have a lot of child pornography in the world. You have a lot of child pedophilia in the world. And it's leaking and oozing. It's more and it's more and it's more, right? But what I'm telling you is the people that create this environment for this child trafficking and this child 
abuse, and his child sexual trauma, the people at the very top of that are the people at the very top of this society. And they are actually worshipping and making sacrifices to Moloch. A blood drinking deity that's in the Bible that most people read. Yes, I know it sounds crazy. Moloch is the god that devours children. So people make have made sacrifices to Moloch throughout many different cultures. I'm going to go to the second one. The second, Moloch is the one that devours children. Baal, B-A-A-L, is the one that destroys men. That twists men. That reverses men. So whenever you go and make these oaths amongst the elites, they make oaths amongst each other. And they have the men do something sick in order to be into the group. You might not know this. So in Skull and Bones and Harvard or Yale, they got all these different fraternity sororities. And they make the men get butt naked and use their asshole to pick up a pee off a block of ice. Or they'll have a big orgy with a bunch of men and make them do these depraved sex acts on each other. Because Baal is the one that twists and converts men into their unnatural way. So Baal is another piece of this trinity that is being sacrificed to and worshipped in our society that we have no knowledge of. And then the third one is Ishtar. Ishtar is the feminine one that is at the, is at the helm of telling all the women. What happened, buddy? Noah. what? Oh, what do you need? You need a card? There you go. Nah, I'm good. Some water. So Ishtar is the one. Some water. Yeah, Fuji. Ishtar is the one that got all these women out here. Now, I don't know if y'all have been paying attention, but for the past like 10, 15, 20, 30, maybe what, 60, 67, feminism came and the radical feminism came. And from radical feminism, we got something new. We got something where the women said, I can do whatever I want. I can dress however I want. I can be super sexual with myself. And it's cool. It's accepted. And you started saying, well, damn, how did this equate to you having freedom if you behaving in this way? But what they are worshiping and Beyonce's and the Chloe Bailey's and the, and the Miley Cyrus's and the Britney Spears. And they doing all this sexual shit in, in, in the culture. you like, well, damn, this is what it is. And the Megan Thee Stallions. Right? All these motherfuckers. You see all this crazy shit where they're getting super sexual. And the Cardi B's. And you say, well, damn. Is it Freemasonry? Is it Illuminati? No, it's Ishtar. They worship Ishtar. They sacrifice to Ishtar. Ishtar is the one that got the women on this. I could be a hoe and it's okay. I can sell my body. I can show my body. I can... Be super sexually promiscuous and free. And it's okay. I don't want a family. I don't respect men. I want a career. I want to live for myself. I want to be a hoe. That's Ishtar. Baal is the one that got motherfuckers flipping themselves and turning and doing all of these depraved homosexual shit and basically fighting off the natural order of masculinity in our society would be Baal. And then Malik is the one that got motherfuckers perverting and, and conditioning children. So you got an unholy trinity at play. That most people have no idea of. I'm going to get a little deeper into this on the next show. Because this goes so deep. Because that Bible got a lot of shit with it right. And people read a version of the Bible with books omitted. And they'll say okay well this is what it is. And they'll try to decipher all of reality off this one book that was written. Way previous to the version you got and got flipped and twisted and convoluted and you took it literally, right? But what I'm saying is, go do some research on Malik, go do some research on Baal, and go do some research on Ishtar and come back to me. And you're going to say, okay, I see what you're saying. You might say it, you might not. But again, why are you at war with Ukraine? You know the Ukraine crest is the same as the Malik sigil? A sigil is like a logo... For a, a deity. So a sigil would be like. A symbol. That you can make. You can make a sigil. But you got to have a block. You got to have like. The block of Saturn. The block of Jupiter. 
and you got put the days of the week in there, and you put the numbers in there, and you whatever you want to say to make a sigil for, you just connect all those dots and symbols in that block, and you can make a sigil. And that sigil would be a, a symbol that you can use, that you can send your energy through and harness your energy and capability to bring that thing into reality. That's what a sigil is. So all of these symbols that you see on this stuff, you it's not new. Like Gucci and Fendi and Versace and all of these different things that you see and why these why these companies never go nowhere. Why these companies never go nowhere, you done been through dozens, dozens of recessions. Money done went up and down and these, these high-end fashion companies never go nowhere. Because they're representative of that. Because they're emissaries of that. They're representative of old houses. They're representative of when your enemy first came to power. And he created these things. People don't know that Louis Vuitton created luggage for the Nazis. People don't know that um, Adidas made clothes and the, the Nazi suits. People don't know Adidas made Nazi suits. They don't know that. They don't know that. And they say, okay, well, if we don't buy this shit, they're going to go somewhere. You really think so? You really think Kanye West make a difference to niggas that made the clothes for the Nazis? No. No, that's not how this works. That's the only reason they even did business with the nigga in the first place because he didn't got initiated. Let me go to the comments. Yes, absolutely, a test, a test. But still a sacrifice. But still a sacrifice. Like I said, Bao, Malik, and Ishtar. Ishtar is the one that got your women on some dumb shit right now. Ishtar is the one that women be giving it up to and they don't even know it. And they say, okay, I could be a hoe. I could fuck who I want. I could dress per I could dress in whatever I want. I could go outside damn near naked like a stripper. That's Ishtar. Bile is the one that got motherfuckers on the on the freak nasty homosexual shit. The perverse, perverse male masculine sexual shit. That you like, well, damn, why the fuck you doing that? Like you, you rich and famous. That's what you into? You like, well, damn, that's what you like? You control all these people, Clive Davis, P. Diddy, all these people that you see, you like, well, damn, that's what they like? The rich and famous on some weird shit. No, they giving it up. They giving it up to who they really worship. And then who else worship them? They got the regular motherfucking the street worshiping them, and he don't even know it. That's why I said the God in the Bible is not the God for no brown people. I said that shit to my mom. She said, well, damn, I don't know. You got to prove it. She was really upset about the shit from the first, because like I said, the creator of all things would never want you to sacrifice nothing. You would have a part of that thing in you. Because you are all things. All things are within you. Every part of every particle is within you. Everything that's present that really exists is within you. So why would I kill something for that? Why would I shed blood for that? That was my question when I was little. That don't make... That's weird. That's crazy. Why? What is that? But I'm telling you. Go look up Malik. Like I said, you go into war with Ukraine... The Ukrainian government symbol of Ukraine is the same as Malik. And do you know who has the, the highest case of child trafficking in the world? Ukraine. Ukraine. Got the highest child trafficking in the world. Go look it up. They had this shit like two, three years ago. Go do your Googles. Ukraine got the highest cases of child trafficking in the world. And you going to war with them niggas and you giving them niggas money. And they got niggas thinking that they need to be protected. You got niggas with their lights on their house and shit talking about pray for Ukraine. When the whole shit need to be dismantled. Maybe you didn't know that. Maybe you didn't know that. Okay. Well, honestly, that's all I got. Great show. I really appreciate everybody for coming out. My man Ev, my man, my man Corey, my man Chris. I know a lot of people might not get with this. This is a little different of a show. But I had to come out here and lay some shit out about the aliens and about all that shit. So if you missed the re if you missed this broadcast, you can check me out on the rebroadcast. I'm upload this on my YouTube. If you want to catch this from the beginning, go check me out on YouTube. Mark Austin is crazy. Next week I'm coming back. I'm gonna do a show on Tartaria. And I'm gonna show y'all 50 pictures in a row. I'm gonna show y'all a picture with I'm gonna show y'all 50 pictures in a row of how we have free energy and what we used to do what we was doing with the free energy, how we was utilizing it, how you see power lines previous to the 1850s, 
and none of this shit got showed to nobody. And now you paying money for gas, and now you paying money for these people to bring power to your house when power is free. Power energy is free. You gotta tap into the ether field. You gotta ground it. And the, o the open source of energy, but then you cut off from it. You know, if you don't ground something that's live, it's like when you go in your car, you got a battery, you got to do what to make it work? You got to ground it. So if you do not ground it, you're not tapped in to the infinite information that's available to you, the infinite power that's available to you. So you got to be grounded. And they cut you off from grounding by putting rubber soles on your shoes. Like I said, rubber sole shoes destroy humanity way more than everything else. And it seems and it seems like, like, well, damn, well, that's not real. Because it seems so insignificant to put rubber soles, rubbers on the toes on your shoes because everything has been rubber sole shoes since you was little. But what I'm telling you, you know that there's grounding. You know you ground through your feet when you walk on grass. So why would it not make sense that putting rubber soles on your shoes would stop you from that current from flowing through you and you being connected to shit? Why would that not make sense when you know that electricity can't flow through rubber? But then you can't make the distinction that putting rubber on your feet is going to stop you from completing that charge with the ground, with everything else? Well, we're going to get into it next week. So I love y'all. And somebody had to tell you and I love you, so it might as well be me. So I'm out. I hope to have a great week. I'll be back next week. Shout out to all my real ones. And um, y'all have a good night. Peace.